Hey Kotaku, Evan Arsis still here at PAX East 2015. We're about to take a look at Ronin, which is a 2D action, turn-based action platformer? Yeah, turn-based action platformer. Turn-based uh, turn action platformer. So tell us a little bit about the story and the character that you're controlling in the game. Uh, basically, the story is uh, it's, it's a revenge story. You are this uh, teenage girl going back to a, uh, to a city. Uh, uh, just on our, on our revenge, have a have this picture of uh, uh, of, of some people who uh, are responsible for death of your father. Right. And you are just crossing them off from that list, uh, assassinating uh, one after another. Okay. So you're basically a teenage girl who is who has a picture of the people responsible yeah. for the death of her father. Yeah. You're trying to assassinate them one by one. Yeah. What made you get, decide to take the to add turn-based to the action formula? Uh, the game uh, initially was supposed to be a, a, a mobile game. It was supposed mobile, to be play, okay. playable on uh, touch screens. And uh, it's, it's quite a complicated game, it's quite a complex game. And the only way to uh, give the player the, the time and, uh, and abil ability to, uh, to make those complicated decisions was to, was to uh, create a system which uh, uh, paused the game uh, whenever the, the an action could be could be taken. So uh, doing a turn-based game was a natural uh, consequence. Of, of right. So you made it turn-based in order to give the player time to control the strategy yeah, and the exactly. decisions that they made. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. All right. So let's take a quick look at the game. So uh, Tom is about to take us through the third level of Ronin. And you're, about, you're tracking down one of the men who was responsible for the death of your father. So Tom, about the cycling of the turns, is that automatic? Or are you stopping it manually? No, it's automatic. So you can stun the enemies and then kill them later. Yes, exactly. You can stun enemies, uh, uh, but they will get up after three turns. So you have to like, uh, make sure to kill them eventually. And I saw you just did a stealth kill with the grapple where you hung somebody from the pipes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you get uh, over an enemy uh, from a ceiling, you can uh, stealth kill him uh, without alerting anyone else to, to, to your presence. <laughs> And the other ninja character, is that a class of enemy or is that like one of the, the bosses? No, it's uh, more like a, an enemy type. Just, uh, just uh, something different from the regular enemy. And those are civilians down there where you're not supposed to kill, obviously. Yeah, exactly. So the gunmen look like they're one-hit kills, but the, these other uh, cyborg ninja guys uh, takes more than one hit to kill them. Yeah, exactly. Ninjas uh, uh, actually they are samurais, 
Uh, samurais uh, uh, only get stunned when you first hit them, and then you have to follow up uh, immediately, basically, uh, with another hit to finish them off. If you don't do this, they will just get up and continue fighting. So that was a quick look at Ronin being developed by Tom Fatsuavik. Yes. Uh, it's a turn-based action hybrid and it's coming to PC and where else? Uh, later on consoles and also mobile devices. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you very much. All right.